good morning. We're uh, got a busy day today. We've got a few of these to wean. Just um, a few more ewes that are dirty and a couple of, oh, one lamb will fly, so we'll tidy all them up. Um, and then we're gonna shoot down to the lease block, draft off all the ewe lambs, bring them back here, drench them, um, and then chuck them in with the other ones we've weaned because uh, Monday next week we have another weaning draft at the lease block for final weaning draft and we cut out all the ram lambs and see what is prime there. Um, so just to make that job easier, we'll take the ewe lambs off because we're not going to send any of them. There are replacements, or well, the best ones are our replacements. So uh, yeah, it's another cracking day here in Canterbury. It's just getting pretty hot though. So um, yeah, make sure these lambs keep growing. They need to be on quality feed. So that's why we're weaning them. And then the ewes can just uh, settle down and and uh, put a bit of condition on before topping. So right, we'll uh, run through this. Sheep's bum. The girls have gotten into a nice routine with their horses. Well, they're not theirs. Get outside. Who's with me? You. Hey, Jasper. You are such a big puppy, aren't you? Yes, you are. And Jack. <laughs> you like to be in front of the camera though, don't you? Yes, they just like what it is. Alright, speak up. Speak up. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> what was that? There you go, look. Up yet. So we're weaning, separating. Babies from mums. Everyone's got a different um, method of telling when they need to wane, and it depends a lot on the food on the ground, the condition of the sheep, um, all that kind of stuff. These guys are at a point where they, they could do with more condition, and they could do with, they're ready to take off on their own, and at the moment they're competing for feed. Talking about loudies on the phone. Hey ladies. There's two really nice things about these sheep yards. One is the tree that someone had the foresight to plant years ago, many years ago. And the other is what the other tree. The roof, I don't know. It's pretty old. It's handled a lot of weather. Um probably definitely needs a trim. Um, and the Roof. Covered yards makes a huge difference. Do you want to show me what you're doing with the horse? Uh -huh. Quiet! Millie, do you want to show us what you're doing with the horse? I'd stay this. Oh. Okay. Where he's eating hay? He's eating hay. Is that what you're doing with the horse? Um. <laughs> oh, you go all silly on camera. This is Nick. Uh, he's quite chilled out at the moment. He's my big boy and really doesn't get a lot of riding, do you, Nick? <laughs> it's kind of the way like. Eh? Oiled? Yeah, they do, both do. <laughs> they chill out here. Rod Rodney is on. We, 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 hay diet. We've they been. Get some grass. We've been bashing Rodney. <laughs> What's funny? Just life, isn't it? Just life. <laughs> Life's funny. She's putting the oil stuff that go on the horse's feet. Yeah. On in the lid so you can put it on with the Will brushing I go, and put it on their feet. Sorry, he's chasing the lamp. Will I go? Good boy. And then put it on their feet. It's like mm -hmm. a um, manicure, isn't it? Or pedicure. Yeah. yeah. Their hooves get quite dry. Yeah, and cracked at the moment. <laughs> I 
like the taste of that one. Um, Alice is just cleaning up a fly lamb there, which we won't show you in detail. If you'd like to see that, you can see another video. <laughs> yeah, flying spot the dirty one, and he's got it. Uh, there were two, but he got the other one. He's just going to clean this one up. So all done. Uh, this little mob. Um, ginger lambs tied up one fly and another one that need crutching. Crutch the ewes. So we'll take the ewes away. Put them over here with the other ones that um, we've cleaned. And then the other lambs can just hang out here for a little bit. And we'll shoot to the lease block. Draft up the you lambs run them back here <laughs> on the trailer, so it's going to be quite a few loads. But, but coffee at first day. Yes, <laughs> we need coffee. <laughs> what do you reckon, Jasper? Yeah? <laughs> Special treatment around here. Look at this big dog. You're getting an ear mas massage. <laughs> He's like, yeah, what of it? You love it, don't you? You lovely dog. Just like all the others. Yes. Need a lot of lot of uh, cuddles and attention, just like Bob. This is what we do. Some people don't do that. True. Just big softies, aren't we? Sucky for their dogs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You need to shave. <laughs> you got to teach them how to shave. Mhm. Mm Down here at the leash block, this is uh, the tucker that these usual lambs have been on. So, a bit of plantain, some red and white clovers. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just going to run these in and draft a few lambs out. Right, all loaded, all back done. Got the lock eel here. Um, it's a pretty decent trailer, so hopefully we can fit oh, 25 in each pen, something like that. We'll have a go. I'll let you know how we get on. Um, yes, yeah, so there'll be a few trips here. Well, um, it doesn't matter. Ute's got music and air conditioning, so we'll be sweet. Got our sixth and final uh, load here and here. So, um, yeah, we've just got to open the gate there for the ewes to go back to a better paddock. There's some clover in it for the ram lambs to try and grow as much as they can. So, about 20 lambs in each pen, so 40 lambs a trip. Six, six trips. Hey, Jack. Pretty good, not too bad. So I was going to shoot past the vet to grab some drench, and uh, yeah, we'll have to start drenching them when we get home. Done a couple of time and we'll get into some drenching. <laughs> Whew. Getting through.
through these. Um, there's a nice easterly breeze now, so it's quite pleasant in here. So um, I'm just throwing over any that you know they're really bad that need crutching. Um, so then we'll just fill up the trench and race and run around with the handpiece and crutch them up, keep the flies away, um, and then that should uh, keep these pretty well um, clean until uh, it's time to shear them. So we'll, uh, keep going. Not too many left to do. A couple out the back there. all that done there um yeah there's some nice slams in there but it's also some pretty average ones so i was going to mix them up with these um hill lambs that we weaned this morning and put them in new grass over there but i might uh, keep them separate i think um just to see how they handle the drench and whether they clean themselves up a bit because they're, they're a bit shitty and a bit scary so i don't really want to mix them up because the hill lambs are quite clean um so we'll go and put some, uh, what are we going to do? I'll go put the ewes away first and then put these lambs away in their paddocks. Blue. 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 So we're just out here looking at the rafno. Um, got sprayed uh, two weeks ago. So the holding period is three weeks. So we've got a week left to go before we can put the lambs on here. But this will be the paddock where the lambs go first and then we'll split it into three. So there's a trough about there. So then we'll um, put a fence across so they can have this bit first and then we'll put another fence straight down so they can have the trough in each third. Um, yeah, and we worked out that uh, we could probably graze around 650 lambs on this four hectares, the five hectares on the hill, and the two hectares on the other hill up there. So, yeah, and they should do quite well. Um, they tend to do, yeah, like last year, we got 280 odd grams a day on the for the first grazing, our first rotation. So the way that these lambs have been pushed, they should, um, hopefully they'll catch that up, jumping onto this stuff. But um, yeah, she could do with a shower of rain. She's, uh, oh, there's a wee bit of moisture down there. But um, yeah, it's looking good. Right out. Uh, just gonna go check the hoggets and their lambs. That we've got on some Italian. But um, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. It's about seven o'clock in the evening, so pretty busy day. But uh, yeah, it's good to get those. Um, Good to get those lambs off the lease block down there and drenched and tidied up. Um, and then like I say, in a week's time, or well, next Monday actually, we're um, less than a week. Next Monday we're uh, weaning down the lease block as well. So then after that, we'll be completely done out of there. You can come home and get Sean. Um, all the lambs can come back here. The ram lambs can go on the crop. So still got a busy couple of days. So we'll try and uh, get the ones off the hill and wean them. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you haven't already, we're up to 800 now, I think, which is pretty cool, pretty awesome. Um, yeah, and we will catch you in the next one. See ya.